Hi everyone, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another D23 review and this time it's the Frozen Dolls uh, designed by Brittany Lee. She is an artist for Disney. She has worked on the first Frozen, the second one, Moana, and her work is just stunning. So I'm really happy that they made dolls for her. I've always loved her work. Um, it's just my favorite designs for Anna and Elsa have come from her. So. This is pretty cool. Now this set is limited edition of 5,700. So that is a lot of them. And um, they were sold at the expo, but on the latest post from the artist, she says that she was told that whatever's left will, be then, will then be sold on Shop Disney along with a collection of her designs. So I don't know what that is, mugs or whatever. I have no idea, but I can guarantee you that there was plenty of them left uh, so they'll definitely be on Shop Disney any day now. In this review, we're going to go ahead and open them up and take a closer look at everything. And yeah, let's get started. First up, we're taking a look at the box and it's really art itself. Like I just love the box for these dolls. I'm going to debox them, but I'm definitely keeping the box because it's beautiful. On one side, we have the designs that match Anna, right? Her colors, it's just so pretty. And then on the other side, we have are the snowflakes and snow that match Elsa. Isn't that cool? And then we have Frozen in the center and it says Anna and Elsa collector doll set. And by the way, these are 12 inches doll or 11 inches doll scale. They're not 16 in case you were confused. And it says limited edition one out of 5,700. And right in the center bottom area, we have the door. And that's just, again, art. <laughs> this box is art. It's just so pretty. I love it. Now on this side, on Anna's side, we have the Anna designs, right? That we have in the front of the box. They're on that side of the box. And then on the other side of the box, we have the Elsa, uh, you know, snowflakes and all of that. And when you turn the box to the back, you again have the designs on each side of the, um, of the box. And then we have frozen in the middle. And it says Anna and Elsa Collector Dosset. And then we have Brittany Lee right there with her signature. And you can go ahead and pause if you'd like to read this, the description. Now the price is a little on the heavy side, same as the Hercules set, two ninety nine and ninety nine cents, so three hundred dollars for the set. <laughs> when you open up the windows, you can see Anna and Elsa, and on each side you have a postcard or a card with um, the design of what they're wearing, right? So here they are. You can take a closer look at them. And as you're going to see with the dolls, it translated perfectly. Like this is exactly what the doll looks like, right? Beautiful. And then we have Anna right here. And I really love that they included these little cards. I just think they are really pretty. And this is what the box looks like once you um, actually open it. And it's interesting because Anna's designs are on Elsa's side on the top and you know, the Elsa one is on Anna and then on the bottom it matches. It's pretty cool. Now you can see the cards have their little snowflakes and the Anna designs as well. So we're going to go ahead and take them out. But before I like to give you a quick look at what they look like in it. I always do. <laughs> and they're just really cute. They're holding hands. And the background, it's kind of like that room that has all the pictures in it, but it's like blacked out, right? It's like a purplish, blue, dark color, which is good because it makes them really, really stand out. And they do have this little like stairs lifting them up to reach, you know, higher in the box. And this is my certificate of authenticity. I have number 227, so that's a pretty low number. First up, we have Anna, and we're taking a closer look at her face, which is really unique. I really love the fact that they really kept Brittany Lee's style in the dolls. And this is a completely new face sculpt made just for this, right? This is very different. We have seen many, many Anna and Elsa dolls, and it's refreshing to get something completely new. She has the circle pink cheeks with the little white dots, right? She has rooted lashes and um, pink eyeshadow. And I love the fact that her eyeballs are just a blue dot, right? I love that. I also love the tip of the nose. 
it's just really cool. It's a really cool design. Um, and I've always thought her concept art is cool and I've always wondered how would it look like in dolls and it just looks awesome. All right, the tip of the nose is really cute. <laughs> and yeah, I just, I, I love this. I love this look for her. It's so iconic. <laughs> she also has her braids and they're pretty long, right? And instead of having like the, the white streak, she just has like two shades. It's the orangey hair with a little bit of brown in the front. There you can see. And you can tell that it's good quality hair. It just has gel. She also has this cute little pompons. You know, is that what they're called? You know, the little balls <laughs> and the headband. And if you wanted to remove it, you totally can. It has Velcro uh, back there. Uh, but it also has in the front, you know, two like little plastic tags keeping it together, right? One on this side and then one on the other. So, you know, I'm not going to remove it, obviously. I also love the colors they chose for the pom-poms. It just fits her entire, you know, aesthetic. Now, when it comes to the outfit, I want to give you a quick look at what it looks like on the doll before I go ahead and remove it. She has her cape, a lot of embroidery work here. And I could actually see this outfit being used in the movie, you know, because the final one is pretty close to this. So that's pretty cool. And the back part, you can see that she has her cape and it looks really nice. Alrighty, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and try to remove her outfit as much as possible, starting with her cape. And what a nice surprise. Look at the little detail on her um, shoulder there. That's really pretty. So the cape itself has some embroidery on the top, really, really nice colors, and it has a pom-pom trim going all around it in purple. The fabric here is really, really nice. I never know fabric names, but maybe silk or something. I don't know, but it's very pretty and shiny and it looks like high quality. It's heavy too. So here we have, she has a stand that just kind of, you know, holds her together. It's not the most secure stand. She kind of wobbles a little bit, but yeah, that's the stand that they included. Here we go. We're going to take off her little uh, bodice piece here. And again, what a surprise, right? Those little things on the sleeves. So, so pretty. Lots of embroidery work here. It just feels expensive. <laughs> now she has a blue shirt underneath with some embroidery on the sleeves and little like beads on there. They're um, gold and white. And then she has the little thing in the front as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the skirt because I tried to remove the shirt and it's impossible. It doesn't go through the hands and the hands don't come off and I don't want to break anything. So under the skirt, she has the underskirt that just kind of gives a volume and it's a dark blue color and she's wearing black leggings, I guess. And she has the, you know, the jointed legs, what are they called? The rubber ones that just like bend at the knee. And then she has this really cool boots, which are new for Anna. I've never seen these specifically made before with a pompon in purple attached there with a pink ribbon. Really, really pretty. I love the shine that they have as well and her underwear is black to match, you know, the, the leggings or whatever. <laughs> so here's the skirt. There's a lot of embroidery on it going all the way around. And it's the iconic blue color um, used for Elsa. And the um, designer did say that she wanted to bring in the Norwegian vintage inspiration. And you can 100% see that here, right? Look at the purple pompons all around it. It's just amazing. And now we're taking a look at Elsa. And just like Anna, she has the same like uh, round circle on the cheeks and the eyeshadow and the little um, shadow on the nose painted. Uh, but in her case, it's purple where Anna was pink, right? Because purple fits Elsa more and pink fits Anna. So I really like the choice made there that they're different, right? It's not totally the same. I also love the color of her lips. It's like a reddish purple and I wanted to mention you know she had she's not smiling while Anna is so it's totally new face coats made here for both Anna and Elsa and I absolutely love that I think she looks fierce I love the eyebrows they kind of have like a blue color to them and it looks really really good her hairstyle is pretty close to what, she, what it looks like in the movie right but she has this little plastic piece here with uh, pearl beads on them and this is attached to her hair, of course, and it's a snowflake. 
and it's really pretty. I also love the fact that her hair has a blue streak going through it. Um, it has a tape back there holding the bangs together and I'm gonna leave it so it doesn't get messy. But yeah, I love the fact that we have the blue streak right there. Really, really awesome, her iconic braid. I love to see it changed it up a bit, right, with the blue added. <laughs> it's a nice, nice touch. And now I just wanted to give you a quick look at the outfit while it's on the doll um, before I try to remove it and fail. <laughs> You'll see. But yeah, this is just a beautiful gown. It's a different version, of course, of what we're used to. But as I said earlier, she wanted to incorporate the vintage Norwegian folk look and she definitely did that and it's just a beautiful rendition of this iconic dress right Here you can see it and we'll take a closer look at everything even though you'll see i'm not really able to remove it completely <laughs> so here we have uh, the stand which is the same one as the one that anna has right it's just they just kind of sit on it not the best in terms of holding them but you can get it to work so here we go this is the back part. You can kind of unclip it there. And then it has Velcro. Now, when you remove it, it's impossible, impossible. I could not get the hand off and I could not get it to fit through it. And I did not want to break anything. So I was not able to. But I did pull the dress down as much as I could because I really wanted to show you a quick comparison between a Disney store classic doll and this one because the body has changed. and. Really, it's just the torso, right from the neck to um, to the waist. It's completely new. The hands and the legs are the same they always use, but the bodies are totally different. Look at the shape of her chest in comparison. Now it's more round and the waist is thinner, right? And also the back. Like if you notice at their shoulder area, it's not as wide, right? So they, they have completely new bodies that they've made for these. Again, not new body, just new torso, right? Um, I'm not sure why they did that, but it looks really cool and it's something new. Now, when it comes to the dress, again, I wasn't able to remove it, but I'm just gonna give you a, um, a closer look since I only showed it to you pretty fast earlier on. It has pearl beads on the top, embroidery going down the arm. Really nice. I also love the design in the middle, right? The two different shades of blue in embroidery work. And then we have this thing on the front with two tassels, this thing on the front, <laughs> this panel in the front or whatever. The actual skirt itself is full of embroidery going all the way to the back. And again, it's all the different shades of blue and it has rhinestones and it's just really, really pretty. And again, really nice fabric. It has pom-poms on the bottom and it does have like a lining on the inside of a lighter uh, purple, co purple color. <laughs> there you can see it. You see, her legs are just a typical, you know, bend at the knee, a rubber legs. She has her heels on, which look really cool. I believe it's the same, you know, same ones we've seen before. Not 100% sure, but they do have like a prayer lesson color to them. And they're very pretty. They're on there with rubber bands. They have the snowflake design in the back. The cape has all this like decals on it that look really nice and match the embroidery on the skirt but you know it's not embroidery and it has rhinestones in the border it's like a little light purple rhinestones and then we have another panel in the back this one doesn't have tassels but it does have the same embroidery that we see in the front all righty everybody so that is all for today let me know what you think of the frozen girls in the comments um, I do think that $300 is a lot for such a big limited edition number but at the same time they're so unique and special and something that will probably never be done again. So I do, I just couldn't resist getting them. I think they're perfect. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you plan on getting them once they hit Disney stores. And yeah, that's all for today. Look out for my other D23 reviews and I will see you all on the next one. One of those. Alrighty, bye-bye.